The stories in this video are not stories at all, but articles. Articles about paranormal events that were published in real newspapers 100 years ago. There's a time in everyone's life when they finally know everything. For me, it was when I was 15. <laughs> it was great. I was invincible. Then I got dumped. And it was invincibility over. <laughs> and I knew nothing again. That's roughly how it goes for most of us. But there are some people that never grow out of it. Full grown adults running around acting like they know what's going on, even though they don't have a clue. Hey! Pay attention to me! I'm talking to you! I'm a good pay attention to the best pay attention to ask anyone. Anyone will tell you. I'm a billionaire who can afford to pay more attention than me. Not Sleepy Joe here. Uh. Also, did you notice how big my hands are? And another thing. Ulster County appears to be a preferred place for ghosts to haunt. Just last winter, there was excitement about a haunting at the Dunn residence. But the most recent haunting is different. It is not occurring at one residence, but appears to be moving about the neighborhood as it pleases. Within Ulster County is a thinly settled farm town situated at the foot of the Shawangunk Mountains called Logtown. In this town is a family named Rose, and Lewis Rose was its head known as Old Man Rose to his neighbors. Old Man Rose was an outspoken and eccentric man. He despised the Christian religion and all religious instruction. He would often carry on about how he didn't fear hell or any punishment and insisted there would not be a clergyman officiating his funeral. He was also illiterate and could not eloquently explain his thoughts on any complex matter. He did, however, have one secret fear, the fear of being buried alive. Approximately one year ago, Old Man Rose became very ill. In the hours leading up to his death, he carried on, shouting and cursing and thrashing about in his bed. But in his last moments, he became strangely calm and called his wife to him. He told her Satan was after him, that he could hear the rattling of the chains. Then he made her a promise. If he could find a way to break free from the chains, he would come back. He was still terrified by the idea of being buried alive. So he asked his wife to keep his body for eight days, then place his body in the field for the crows to eat. His wife and friends tried to oblige, but they had no way to preserve the old man's body. His body began decomposing almost immediately after death. But by the fifth day, the smell was so unbearable that he was buried. Now the promise Old Man Rose made to his wife about breaking free from Satan and returning was known only to the Rose family. They didn't tell anyone, nor did they look for Old Man Rose, as they expected him to act as all other dead people act. Now, a year later, many people believe he has come back. His ghost has reappeared recently. It was night, but a full moon, when a member of the Oddfellows saw Old Man Rose on the road. When he noticed the ghost, it was less than 10 feet away from him and facing him. The man was from town and had known Old Man Rose for years. He is sure because of how close he was and how well he could see due to the moonlight that the ghost was Old Man Rose. Before the man could speak, Old Man Rose vanished. A few days later, a woman claimed she saw Old Man Rose in her house, and she was willing to testify under oath about the haunting. So far, Old Man Rose has been seen at five different locations by five different people. So this guy was kind of a jerk. First he's all, 
God, it's fake. Then when he's dying, he's all, I'm not scared. But oh no, Satan is coming for me. But also, I'm still not scared. Then he comes back, and instead of visiting his wife, that was probably too good for him anyways, he meets up with some old friends on the road and visits some woman's house. When his wife dies, I hope she lets him have it good for this. Speaking of giving it to someone good, do you wish you could throw a pie at Papa Bone's face? Well, I've got great news for you. You can. It's easy. Just join Patreon. I'll use that dollar a month to throw pie, cake, and sandwiches at my face. I won't be throwing it very fast, and will be aiming mostly for my mouth hole. But still, it counts. If you think me eating is a good idea, head over to Patreon.com now and sign up for just one dollar a month. So eventually, Old Man Rose did go back to see his wife. But by the time he got there, she was so angry, she threw salt at him, creating little holes in his ghost body. Ah. And now, even though he doesn't believe in God, he's known as the Holy Ghost. 